I want to talk about Putin, not this guy. He's uh, he's mother. He's my cat, Putin. He likes his gold thing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's his favorite toy. But uh, you know, I want to talk about Vladimir Putin a little bit. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there. You know, I'm going to bring this right from common sense. And I ain't here to insult no Russians or anything like that, because I think Russians are pretty hard-working people, and they're good people, and they're honest people, and that's one reason they're into religion, because they want to do the right thing. But I'm going to say this. Vladimir Putin is not what you think he is, or at least I think some people figure out what he is. But he's almost like, uh, you almost can compare him to like when Ronald Reagan came on with the United States. You know, it's almost like, yeah, we're bringing things back, and getting everything good again while well, Ronald Reagan came on. But man, he just, he represents, like in the same way Ronald Reagan really represented the big power behind the scenes, like the oil companies. Vladimir Putin is pretty much the front guy, the, the visible face you see that is the power behind Russia, and basically the FSB, you know, the former KGB. But basically the FSB is more powerful than the KGB. Like, you know, people in America actually say, like, they got the CIA, the FBI, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the, you know, Immigration Agency, and they got all these alpha food soup agencies out there. Well, in Russia, you pretty much got one agency. The whole thing just is under the FSB. It's pretty much... So, you know, you can realize that abuses can even get worse. And I'm not knocking Russia, but I'm just trying to say, you know, people... Wake up on Vladimir Putin. He ain't what you, he ain't some crusader. He's not what you think he is. I'm gonna point out a couple common sense things. You know, one thing that came to light with Cyprus when it had uh, all the Russian depositors that have their money in there, and Vladimir Putin is getting really pissed off about that right now. Well, if you know this, I mean, does the average Russian have money in Cyprus? Hell no. <laughs> it's big bucks, Russians. Now, why do they have money in Cyprus? Why, not, why is it in a Russian bank? Because then if it's in a Russian bank, you know, in Russia, around Moscow, or whatever the hell, it, wherever it is in Russia, you know, uh, it would be used to um, be lent out for people that need loans. Maybe somebody needs, maybe a farmer needs capital or in business, a new entrepreneur needs capital to present, to, uh, you know, promote a new product that he has and a new invention. So a lot of engineers in Russia, a lot of smart people in Russia, so there could be a lot of smart, innovative businesses. So why isn't that capital in Russia versus Cyprus? The answer is because it's basically, these are Russians that are dealing with the West. They're Russians, they're elitist. They don't give a damn about Russia, they're dealing with the West. And you know, one good tip off about Putin though, he's really buddy-buddy with Berlusconi, he always was. And, uh, you know, there's an elite group, basically, on the top of Russia. And that's who has money in Cyprus. It's been known as a tax haven in Europe. And I knew about, I don't know everything about it, obviously, man. I don't know, a lot of stuff I don't know. But actually, the truth with Cyprus, it makes movies look like what goes on in the financial world. It makes movies look like nothing. Like it. You know, like stuff you would see even on a James Bond movie or something. It just stuff that goes on. It's even crazier than that. Um, but Vladimir Putin is all part of this. I'm not really giving you evidence per se, but I'd like to present something where, if you use a little common sense, you could figure that Vladimir Putin isn't this guy that's like a big crusader. He's not. He's all part of the new world order, and actually. They're all elitist, and they'll cut each other's throats to be on top. In other words, Vladimir Putin will cut some Westerners' throat to be on top, and some Westerners will cut Vladimir Putin's throat to be on top, too. They ain't out for the little people at all. And just figure this, you know, if Putin's getting all upset about the Russian depositors' money in Cyprus, you know, sending warships to the Med, which was one of them, and possibly uh, having, a, if they get bailed out, they'll have a, a, a Russian port in Cyprus area too. But, but figure, why is he getting, you know, what's he, why is the money there in the first place? Right? And whose money is he getting upset about? Is it some average Russian? 
that you know worked hard and he's you know toiled you know a lot in a factory or something like that and he's got a little savings account in Cyprus no Russians have Cyprus money no Russians have uh, money in Cyprus accounts other than the real top dogs and a lot of that money is in there because it's uh, coming from other sources or it's going through companies and a lot of times you know what goes on to man I shouldn't say this shit but I don't because I don't know too much about it so I'll say in real general but you know what? You know why a lot of money's in Cyprus too? Because they're doing business with the West, right? But if it's going through another company, I'm going to be real sketchy about it because I don't know that much about this, okay? They, uh, I really don't because if I did, I mean, I'd have a gazillion dollars, but I wouldn't have it in Cayman Islands derivative. I'd have it in gold bricks and palladium, Russian, Russian palladium coins. That, that's what I would have my money in if I got their kind of money but you know the reason it's in Cyprus is because it goes through companies that could be like set up in different ways and they could be doing business and what they'll avoid is Russian taxation right that's why the money's in Cyprus that's why a lot of these companies are set up and they could be like companies in Latvia that are set up in Latvia or they could be set up in Belarus South America. There's a lot of crazy shit that goes on. And, uh, you know, it's like these, so when things are being, transactions are happening or goods are moving out of the country, they could be like isotopes or something, right? Stuff that's worth more than gold, casium-133 isotopes. And there's supposed to be like these import export taxes and stuff. They could be avoiding all that stuff. Alright? Now Putin knows what's going on. What do you think? You think? <laughs> so like when you're avoiding taxation, usually it means it's and you're making a transaction. Some big guy is making a slew of money on the top, right? So who's who's Putin protecting? Those guys. Those guys, not the Russian average person. So, you know, Putin ain't no good guy. It's bullshit. You know, I mean, it's like some people believe in the West, too. He's like going against the evil Zionist banksters and stuff. And I'm like, Zionist banksters? What the hell's a Zionist bankster? You know, that's, that's you know, there's almost like a propaganda out there about the New World Order and all this kind of garbage. I mean, I think it's just the same old greedy bastards all over the place, and that's just how it is. But Putin is just one of them. It's just a different flavor, that's all. I mean, you got... And uh, he plays the act really good. He almost reminds me of, like, the Ronald Reagan of Russia, basically, in some ways. You know, Ronald Reagan came on the scene in the United States, and everybody thinks we're going back to conservatism and getting back to our American roots and stuff. And he was just... He was just basically a pawn in the oil industry. And basically, that's what Putin is over there. He's not a pawn... Well, he's, he's part of the oil industry, you know? And people say, you know, he's just a politician serving a country. Get out of here. I mean, I don't know what the hell to say about this too much, because I don't really want to knock Russia and stuff like that. I'm not knocking Russia. I'm just saying that he's another New World Order guy. And uh, he's getting real upset about big money Russians that have money in Cyprus. Well, how come he isn't upset they're not keeping their money in Russia? You know, they just threw out um, the Western banks in Moscow because they were too competitive for the Russian banks. Well, why isn't he mad that these Russians with all their billions don't have their money sitting in Russian banks where that capital could be used and lent out to help a lot of Russian entrepreneurs and engineers to start businesses? They probably got some great ideas how they can do things. You know, maybe more efficient engines, more ways to, better ways to irrigate land and all this type of other stuff. There might be a lot of, actually there is a lot of super smart Russian engineers out there. Why not lend them the money to get, you know, how they can get food production going a lot better, you know? Develop new products that can help people, you know, construction methods, new ways of making concrete or something that's a lot stronger, more earthquake proof. You know, a lot of Russians know a lot about metallurgy. 
So all that money sits in Cyprus because basically it's it's a bunch of money that's being done. In other words, it's being earned and it's being used to. Uh, that's you know it's the fruits of profits from trade between Russia and the West. But it's being it's like this certain elite that are doing this, and a lot of times their money isn't taxed because they got it going through all this. And I don't want to. I'm being real sketchy here, and I don't know that much about this, so don't ask me. You know, don't be, don't be go asking me details because I don't know that much. But I know there's a lot of way. A lot of times they'll do things in Cyprus and through a lot of different companies because they're avoiding import export taxes. And you know, Putin knows what's going on with this shit because he's all part of it. So he's all mad that these guys' money might get taxed by the West that's sitting in Cyprus. He should be mad that all that money is not sitting in Russian banks right now helping regular Russian entrepreneurs and engineers and craftsmen to help their business because that money could be lent out to help their business. So, I mean, I think that's a good common sense way to kind of show you how you know, Vladimir Putin is an elitist, and uh, he pretty much uh, works with the West in the Rothschild-type banks and all that type of stuff. It's a big show he's playing for the Russian people. He's a bunch of garbage, man. I'm, a, uh, You know, it's almost like, I'll tell you, Rush, Ronald Reagan was a bunch of garbage, too. On the outside, he looked like he was all pro-USA, back to their American roots and stuff. It's a bunch of garbage. Playing, you know, they play games on people, and people buy it into it because they're looking for answers, and they think they got hope now, but they don't. I'm gonna tell you one thing: if you're a Russian, and uh, or you're American, or whatever the hell you are, <laughs> wherever the hell you are, you know, one thing I really believe in is individual gun ownership. And if you really want freedom in Russia, and uh, you don't want bureaucrats to really screw you over, AK-47. Or you can get the old American AR-15 or whatever, and lots of rounds of ammunition. Because there is a lot of corruption going on, and like, you know, the bureaucracy in the government screws over the people. But when the people are armed, in other words, you know, if you got a business going in Russia and they don't like it because it's, com it's big competition to uh, somebody that's on the top that has a good racket going, and they send goons to destroy your business. Well, if you got guns, you have a way to defend yourself. There's always a way. You know, it's not, you may not be that simple. They'll probably do it through monetary means. But uh, somehow, having a gun, everybody having a gun, just creates it where it's a big equalizer between the ultra wealthy oligarchs and the people on the bottom that do most of the work. So, you know, that to me, that would be the solution. To actually solving problems in Russia, not Vladimir Putin. I would say it would be the AK-47. Everybody on one. I mean, that's your weapon, and you guys built, you guys figured that one out. It's a good weapon, you know. I personally like the AR-15 better, the M16 version, but I know the AK-47 is really good. But uh, if everybody, you know, if you want, everybody had an AK-47 in Russia, you'd have a hell of a lot more freedom. Don't get all your uh, eggs behind Vladimir Putin like he's going to save the world because it's pretty obviously to me that he actually is in cahoots in with the biggest crooks there are in Russia. And that's why he's all mad about the money in Cyprus being taxed because, you know, those are the guys that are the elitists in Russia. He's worried about them. If he was really a good guy, he'd make sure all that money in Cyprus they keep in those bank accounts goes into Russian banks, and that money is used to capitalize Russian entrepreneurs and people with it, innovators and people that would help mankind with great ideas. But nope, he's worried about protecting, you know, the inner organized crime circle, basically, which goes on in Russia. That's what he is about, actually. And he's, he's got a nice image. But he's not a really a good guy like a lot of people think, either both in Russia and the United States. They don't know what that guy's about. He's not too cool.